Let's take our next question that is question number 34. Now the question you see here belongs to chapter motion in a plane from the topic circular motion. Here two particles A and B are moving in uniform circular motion in concentric circles of radii RA and RB with speed VA and VB respectively. Their time period of rotation is same. The ratio of angular speed of A to that of B will be. So it's a pretty easy question where it's given that the time period of rotation is same so ta is equals to tb right and you are very well aware that time period can be written as 2 pi by omega right so 2 pi by omega b from this it's easy to understand that omega a will be equal to omega b so which is the best suited option yes option number four would be the right answer here now let's move on to the next question that is question number 35 now the question you see belongs to chapter laws of motion. As per the question, a block of mass 10 kg is in contact against the inner wall of hollow cylindrical drum of radius 1 meter. The coefficient of friction between the block and the inner wall of the cylinder is 0.1. The minimum angular velocity needed for the cylinder to keep the block stationary when the cylinder is vertical and rotating about its axis right so in order to solve this we should know the diagram first i have already made one for you now in this case this cylindrical drum is rotating about its axis with an angular speed of omega this will create a centrifugal force on this block of mass m weight will be acting downwards right normal reaction will be in this direction by the cylinder on that mass and the friction will be upwards now normal reaction would be equals to mr omega square in order to balance this mass the limiting friction fl should be greater than equal to mg this will be equal to mu n that is greater than equal to mg from here you just put the values you will get m r omega square that is greater than less than mg from here m and m will be cancelled and you will get omega under root g upon r mu so the minimum value of omega can be given by g upon r mu let's put down the values you will get 10 this was 1 into 0 0.1 solving this omega minimum will be equals to 10 radian per second let's see which is the best suited option so among the four options given to us option number three would be the correct answer to this question now let's move on to our next question that is question number 36 the question you see here belongs to chapter electrostatics that is electric fields and charges two parallel infinite line charges with linear charge densities as plus lambda coulomb per meter and minus lambda coulomb per meter are placed at a distance of 2r in free space what is the electric field midway between the two line charges so in order to solve this you need to see this diagram first so i have made one already for you let's start with the solution this is the two infinitely large linear charge arrangements this is plus lambda this is minus lambda the distance between them is said to be 2r we want to find a midway point what would be the electric field let's take this as point p so let's take this as first system and this as the second system so electric field due to first will be in this direction as we assume that test charge is kept at point p and the electric field due to second system will be also be in this direction right now what is the formula for e1 and e2 so if you say e1 would be magnitude would be lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught r why r because the distance between point p and any one sheet would be r right so magnitude of e1 would be this also e2 would be lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught r so net electric field which is acting would be e1 plus e2 so this will be lambda upon pi epsilon naught r this is e net and so among the four options given yes this is the right answer option number three i hope you have understood the question very well now let's move on to the next question that is question number 37 